Hey Holly Organizer here. Welcome to Holly's Habitude. Today I want to talk about um, a couple of scriptures actually. Um, as a Christian we have to know Proverbs 421. Especially as a Christian woman, as a mother or grandmother. Above all else. And note how that one starts. Above all else. Guard your heart. For it affects every thing you do. And some of the versions say it is the wellspring of your life from which everything comes is your heart. So above all else guard your heart because it does affect everything you do. As a Christian we base everything on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is the Word. Check it out John 1 1 in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God and the Word was God. And then it says in 114, the Word became flesh and walked on earth. So we all know the Word is Jesus. So He is truth and He is light and you have to know what He says. As a Christian, if you believe in God, you have got to believe in the devil. You have an enemy that wants to get the heart of your family. And it's your job most of the time. A lot of these men, I don't know where they're at. But they're not there protecting their families. So women, step up. Above all else, guard the heart of your children. It affects everything that they do. Not just today, but 10 years down the road. You have to believe. Sometimes we like to forget or don't think about it, but you have an enemy. If you're a Christian, you have to believe what the Bible says. And it says in, I think it's 1 Peter 3.15, Your enemy, see? Your enemy, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for something, someone, to devour. Yeah. You ever seen the, we've all seen the jungle movies or the Mutual of Omaha. We know that cat's going to eat, isn't he? That cat's going to eat. It's his survival. If he doesn't eat, he's going to die. My question is, the roaring lion, are you going to let him come at your family? Or are you going to protect them and send him down the road somewhere else. Remember, you have an enemy. It doesn't sound pretty and it's not all flowery and it's not the, you know, the, the bountiful, you deserve it all message. But I'll tell you what, it's the truth. Your family, no matter how nice you are, how many great neighbors you have, and how many um, members in your church family you have, you still have an enemy, and he wants to take you down. As a Christian, if you believe the good, you've got to believe the flip side of it. So remember that. How do you guard your heart? How do you guard the heart of your children? <laughs> Watch what's going in, what goes in through their eyes and through their ears. Wow, that's how you guard your heart. The seeds go in through your eyes and your ears. So that's how it gets to your heart. So you have to be careful what they're watching. Video games, TV, commercials, certain friends, movies. Yeah, we've got to do that for ourselves and for them. Because remember, you have an enemy. But the cool part is... I've read the back of the book, and we won! So the enemy lost, not a big deal. But he wants to take you down with him. Ooh, don't forget that one. Yeah, act as if, right? Have a super day. Remember, less mess, less stress. And God bless.